your boy Dill Cheese, and today we're gonna break down what the hell just went down in New York. And uh, apologies if my voice sounds a little different. I'm a uh, hell of sick right now. Yeah. So what the hell went down in New York yesterday, or maybe two days ago? By the time I'm recording this and uploading this video, <clears throat> um, basically, Yapo JJ was headlining a free show in New York. <laughs> And in that show, of course, we got Xavier So Bass under him and Fresh Boy Swag. Three of the hottest names in the underground rap scene right now. And it was a free show, so everybody and their damn moms was there. Literally. I'll get into that later. So usually with these free shows, they never end up going through with them. Because literally so much people show up if the artist is hot enough. A ton of people show up and the show ends up getting canceled because of quote unquote riots. It's like some crazy PR stunt. And like labels love doing this every once in a while with their artists because it's like insanely good promo. You get a lot of like coverage and stuff. News will start covering it. And like, yeah, a lot of outlets will cover it. And basically, this is just proof that the underground is not dead. I don't want to hear nobody say that the underground is dead again. We had one of the craziest years yet since like 2021. I feel like in 2021 people were actually releasing art and stuff like great music. But 2023, like there has been a ton of drama around the whole underground scene. So looks like Yapo JJ's label was like, hey, let's make some headlines. Let's throw a free Yapo JJ show. That's gonna be way too crowded for people to even get in the venue. And let's ha have it get shut down by the police. Obviously their intention is to get the show shut down, but like police are gonna show up because it's like in public and it's New York, one of the hottest city states, whatever. And like, it's gonna get shut down. You can't have a like a thousand kids outside of a venue. It's not safe, you know? And like, this isn't anything new. I remember in like 2017, Lil Yachty did this back in the day in San Francisco. They threw a free show, which I actually wanted to go to really, really bad as a kid. But I was glad I didn't go because of course it ended up getting shut down because it was a free show. Way too many people showed up. You know, everything got really, really unorganized and it got canceled and made headlines. Made It was on the news. Everybody covered it. It was great, great, great exposure for Lil Yachty. Of course, recently, Yeet did it. I think like a year or two ago, Yeet did it as well. It was like a lot of people ate it up. You know, helicopters out, police, you know, the whole shebang. Th that was like Yeet's first time making like headlines on like rap pages that had nothing to do with underground rap. It was a like, great, great move by Yeet's team. Like obviously Yeet was the hottest thing ever. They threw a free show for Yeet. Like of course it's gonna get shut down. Like. It's common sense. The show was so crazy. The damn kids in New York, they stole the metal detector. I'll play the clip right now. Like that shit is insane. They stole a metal detector. Like what the hell are they doing? There's like another like footage of some guy just climbing the ladder in like New York apartment building ladders for like no reason. It's like one of those emergency escape ladders or some shit. Like he's just literally climbing it for no reason. I thought he was gonna jump off into the crowd, which would have been really stupid and dangerous. I'm glad he didn't, by the way. But it was like insane. Like the underground scene and fans are absolutely nuts. Like, like it's lit. It's like everybody's turning up, having a good time. Uh, there was like a video. It looks like a security cop running into some kid and like eating complete shit. Like he was trying to grab somebody and he like ended up running at him. Like tripping over them, it was insane. I'm not gonna show it, sorry, I can't, but you'll probably see it out there. It's on actually 
It's on Tubman Underground's page. Shout out Tubman Underground for covering this as well. You're the GOAT, Tubman. I love you, bro. And earlier I said everybody and their mama was at this show. Literally, a mom and a son met and took a picture with Xavier So Bass. They said they're both fans of Xavier. I thought that was nuts. Then Xavier So Bass made an Instagram story crying tears of joy because of the outcome. Like, it went so well and so dope that Xavier So Bass is crying tears of joy, saying he loves the underground. Yo, I love y'all niggas, man. I'm sitting here crying and shit. And this shit crazy. Like, I've been trying to tell y'all, the underground is not dead. Like, quit making them damn clickbait-ass videos. Underground is not dead. They ended up throwing a show on top of, like, a minivan or something. It was absolutely nuts. People were turning the hell up. They literally made an impromptu show. Like, they're like, F it, let's just do a show on top of a damn minivan. Whole crowd was turning up. It looked like a real concert and everything. This is crazy. This reminds me of like the whole underground Florida scene back in the day when X and um, Wi Fi's funeral, their show got canceled halfway through. They went outside and threw a show on top of a vehicle the same way these guys did it. But it looked like, honestly, hey, not throwing any shade at the whole Florida scene, but Yapo JJ, Xavier, and Fresh Boy Swag, their shit looked like an actual concert right there. Like just outside actual concert and these guys are throwing amazing shows there's supposed to be another show with like net spend in it at a skate park like that's dope as hell like these guys are really active out here for reals and like this is just great promo for the underground scene for the underground rappers this is great promo for yapo jj it seems like jace's label no longer gives a damn fuck about jace anymore looks like they're gonna put all their power and promo money into yapo jj and uh hey jace's label if you guys, you know, want me to push that. Nah, I'm joking. But yeah, it looks like they're going to put all their power and stuff behind Yapo JJ. Honestly, I had never thought Yapo JJ was that good back in the day. But I'll admit it, Yapo JJ is a go. Like, this dude, mu his music is hard. Like, I feel like every release, he's getting better. Like, he just dropped a whole mixtape with, like, a bunch of remixes on it. Like, that shit is hard. Like, damn near every song is a banger. Like... Yapo JJ, man, he is carrying the underground. Him, Xavier, carrying the underground. And it was super dope that they have Fresh Boy swag there as well. Like, think about this. A underground rapper from Alabama, an underground rapper from New York, and an underground rapper from the UK all shut down New York. Like, they shut down the city with this underground show. Like, the underground is gonna take over 2024. I'm calling it right now. And stop calling the underground dead. That shit is not dead. The proof is in the pudding for reals, man. It was honestly super dope seeing this happen. The underground is only going up. I'm telling y'all, man. This is Dill Cheese. Thank you guys so much for listening and watching. Follow me on Instagram at dill.cheese for memes. And yeah, I'm out. Peace.